Today I'm going to talk about my favorite game mechanism in the fishing Euro game, Cold Water Crown. Cold Water Crown is, uh, like I said, a Euro fishing game. It was designed by Brian Surrey and illustrated by Beth Sobel, which I always love to hear because Beth has done some art for Stonemeyer games as well. And honestly, Cold Water Crown is one of the most thematically and mechanically interesting Euro games that I've played in a long time. I could do a whole video about interesting and innovative mechanisms, um, but I want to keep it focused. So if you do have the chance, I would highly recommend watching other videos that talk about how the, ta the tackle box is used in Cold Order Crown. And I'll just mention really, it, it's kind of tough to describe, so I won't go into that. That's a whole video right there. And I also just want to say that I love the way the fish work. So you're catching these fish in the game, and you see this side of the card face up. So you know that you're going to catch a salmon, and you know the, uh, the weight range that that salmon could be. But you don't really know how wait, how heavy it's going to be until you actually catch it, which makes perfect sense for a fishing game. You might put in a certain bait that will catch salmon, but you don't know how big the salmon is going to be, even though you kind of know, okay, salmon are usually between 8 and 12 pounds. I really love that, that moment of discovery when you pick up the fish and see how big it is. But the core mechanism of the game, the thing that makes it really special, um, is a mechanism that I think I've only seen in one other game, has to do with the worker placement element of the game. Um, I love games, as you probably know if you watch this, this uh, video channel, I love games that don't have rounds, where it's just this beautiful flow of I take a turn, you take a turn, we continue to take turns until the game ends. I really, really love that, and this game does that perfectly with this mechanism. On your turn, um, you always have a token, uh, it's double-sided, one and two, you always have one of these tokens in front of you at the beginning of your turn, it always happens that way. Um, and it's not your token, it's just a token, which is the first part of this mechanism that I find interesting. It's not your worker, it's just a worker. I think thematically maybe it's uh, you're, you're, uh, you're casting a reel, maybe it's a reel, um, or it might, might actually be a worker, I'm not sure. But uh, on your turn, you first have to place your token on an open worker placement spot on the board, and then... Uh, and depending on the number that it was on, so if it's on one, you take uh, kind of a limited action relating to the tackle box. If it's on two, you take a more universal action related to the tackle box, or a more powerful action somewhere else on the board. And then, to end your turn, you remove one of these tokens from the board, um, and take that action depending on the number that it was on your, and when you removed it. And when you remove it, you flip it over. So. Hopefully you can see some of the interesting decisions here that are happening, um, especially with that removal. Because when you remove it, if you remove a two, there might be a two out there, um, which is often good to remove because it's a really powerful action. You want to take a two because uh, it's a more universal action with the, the tackle box. It's more powerful. Um, but it may not necessarily line up with what's best for your tackle box. So there might be a two out there, but there might be a one out there that's just a little bit better. So there's still a debate between one and two. And also, because you have to flip it over when you get it, you're setting up your next turn. So if you do take a one, either by choice or because that's the only one that really aligns with what you have on your tackle box, you know on your next turn that it's going to be a two, because when you take it, you flip it over. And that's it, that's your turn. You, you, you put down one, you take one, next player's turn. And it's this constant flow, it's, it's this really interesting element of, uh, of interaction really with players. Normally with worker placement, there's that type of passive interaction where you're hoping to take an action space, hoping to, hoping to take an action, and you're hoping someone else doesn't take it. But in this game, you're kind of constantly hoping that other people put down uh, tokens in spots where, where you kind of need them to be because you can take those actions and you want it to be powerful when you do take that action. So when someone else uses their two on an action that you have on your board, um, it's good for you, you, you like that. And there's, I, I imagine, I've only played this game once, I look forward to playing it again, but I imagine at advanced levels, when you get to know this game better, you do a lot better job of looking around to see what types of bait other people have on their uh, tackle boxes, and you might change your actions a little bit based on what you're seeing on their mats which I really, really like that type of interaction as well, where you have to actually pay attention to what the other players are doing. Um, I think I've only seen this pick up remove mechanism on, uh, I think it was uh, Vikings of the North Sea, maybe Explorers of the North Sea, one of those of the North Sea games. Um, but I've never quite seen it with this twist of the one and the two, and, and just the beautiful flow and interaction that it adds to the game. 
So yeah, that's my favorite mechanism in Cold Water Crown. If you've played it, I'd love to hear your favorite mechanism. Or if you have a favorite um, worker placement element where maybe the wor where the workers are not yours. I'd love to hear about that. I know there's some games that do that. So a worker placement game where the workers are not only yours, they are shared with other players throughout the game. I'd love to hear about that in the comments. Thanks.